Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to upgrade the SSD on this 2018 pre-built gaming PC. It's a cyber power PC, pretty awesome. If you saw a recent video of mine, we recently upgraded the RAM from 24GB to 32GB at 2400 MHz. So now we are going to upgrade the SSD from a 2.5 inch to a M.2 SSD which is supposed to have a huge speed difference. So I powered it off and unplugged the cable. Now we want to open up the right side of the computer. So this is where you're gonna see um, most of the cables going through and the location of the SSD. So we have two screws here. I won't need a screwdriver for that as I can use my fingers. So the current SSD on this is actually a Samsung Evo 860, 2.5 inches, and it has 250 gigabytes. It's an awesome SSD, but uh, someone told me that an M.2 is going to be much faster. And apparently the motherboard on this computer, which is a Bazooka B360M, supports it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to do a fresh install of Windows instead rather than using an image since I already used an image last time. The original SSD on this machine was actually a 7200 RPM Western Digital um, one terabyte hard drive. So we upgraded it to a Samsung Evo 860 which is right here. So I just disconnected the power and SATA cables from it. And let me show you guys what it looks like. It's an awesome SSD, high quality, really great performance. And uh, you guys are going to see the benchmark results later when I compare it to the M.2. So apparently I'm going to need a screwdriver. Looks like I do have two screws here. Um, I guess I didn't have enough screws at the time. So let me show you guys. The Evo 860. Pretty awesome SSD. Alright, let's put this back. Now let's open up the left side. So the left side is the clear side of the computer. So there are four screws. So I don't, I didn't need a tool for that as well. I just used my fingers. Put the tempered glass away so you can see the motherboard. But uh, before I forget, I should probably put back the side panel on the right side. The reason is I'm going to have to lay down this computer and we are going to take out the graphics card and put in the M.2 SSD. So there we go. So since I put back the right side, we can now lay this computer down. Now, we have our graphics card that we need to remove. The reason is the M.2 slot is right underneath it and it's really hard to access without removing the graphics card. So I remove one screw, then I can remove the eight pin connector from the RX 580 graphics card. So I just gotta show you guys here. So there's the, put this tab down. So that white tab, boom. Now we can remove the graphics card, easy peasy. Nothing too crazy. All right, so now we have access and you can see the tab there. So M.2 slot is right underneath it right here. So I have our Western Digital 500 gigabyte SN 550. So it's a pretty awesomely priced SSD and like I said earlier, speed is supposed to be at read speeds of 2400 megabytes per second, write speeds at 1950. So we're gonna do benchmark results like I said and find out and compare it to the Samsung. So measuring it looks like I need to move the screw to the third hole there. So I'm just gonna gently Loosen up the screw here and put it in here on the third hole. So this is actually a pretty interesting install because um, my second M.2 installation, the other one was on a laptop and it didn't have um, a second screw like this. So, so let me plug this in right here. Cool. Nice. It's going to be tricky uh, recording the 
uh, installation of the screw. So I, I pushed it down a little bit, then I put in the screw and I used the screwdriver to screw it in. Um, I couldn't really show it. I couldn't get a good angle on the camera, but let me show you the finished product. So it was inclined at 30 degrees, then I just uh, held it down a little bit and I put in the screw on the left side. So it, it was kind of cramped in there, so I couldn't really get a good camera angle without it getting blocked. So let me reseat the um, graphics card here. Put back the 8-pin connector right here. And then we're just going to screw the... graphics card in place so that's good okay so yeah like I said earlier gonna do a fresh install of Windows 10 since I don't want to do another image all right so putting back the four screws so it should be a pretty easy install yeah, people say the M.2 is the future because, you know, less wiring for the computers. Uh, it's going to have a cleaner look mostly. So I'm just going to wipe it down a little bit with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Not a bad looking PC. All right, now we have our, our test monitor so we can plug in the power, the keyboard and mouse, and let's put in our Windows 10 installer. So like I said, I want to do a fresh install of Windows, which means we need to format the M.2 SSD. So boot it up from the flash drive. So I'm going to do install now. What was surprising to me is the speed at which a Windows install on this thing. It was like, it was like a minute. It was so quick, C crazy stuff. So I did a install Windows Advanced, and then it's unallocated space since it's a new SSD. I did new, apply, and it's gonna partition the computer for me. So it does have an OEM Windows 10 license on this computer, so I didn't really need to copy the. Windows license key, although I did make a copy of it just in case. Um, yeah, so then once Windows 10 was installed, here are the benchmark results. So the speed difference is crazy. Just crazy if you look at that. The M.2 read and write speed, it's insane. Uh, here's the Addo Disk benchmark test. You're looking at write speeds of about 1.6 and a read speeds of 2.26 gigabytes per second which to me is crazy. And here is the um, the parts and the cost of total breakdown, including parts that are not being used, but are part of the expenses. So here's the um, SSD info for each, and you can see some of the features here, but you can see the power on hours and the condition of each. So I hope you all enjoy this video. It's really fast right now this computer it's i'm sure there's faster uh m.2 ssds out there but complete shocker to me thank you for watching take it easy